Because I was on vacation, I hadn't been to my GameStop in about a week. So I decided to go over there to see what new figures they had, and there was a good amount. As you could tell from the back section, they had some My Hero stuff that I was looking for, as well as one that I didn't pick up last time and decided to go for today. And I don't want to spoil everything yet, but what they did have was some pretty decent stuff, as well as a bunch of pre-orders that they had behind the counter. And so let's just jump into this, because I have two giant bags to get into today. And now I feel like you probably could have seen this one, because it was on the side of the bag. So we might as well start with it. We've got the Baseball Fat Gum. One of my favorites from this newer wave that they did where it's all baseball characters. And this is the only one that I have so far, but I'm kind of thinking of getting Gang Orca soon. Because I have the original one, I thought it'd be fun to have both. And I think it's really cool that Fat Gum is wearing the suit underneath the baseball outfit. Take a look at this. Like, I don't know, it's just such a weird one for Funko to make all of them in their baseball uniforms, but I think that's why I wanted to pick it up. I like it. <laughs> and now, funny enough, that's not the only My Hero figure that I got today. Like I said, there was also one at the top that I forgot to pick up last time. I believe you guys saw it a second ago, but this one here is the Hamiko Toga, and I hope I'm pronouncing her first name right. I've really been working on this collection. I want to get every single one of them because the hero's hideout kind of works a bit like a square from what I've seen. And it is one of the only build a scenes to do that. Usually it's like straight across and they kind of connect together, but no, this one's a little bit different. And now at this point, I have in the collection Kirogiri twice and Toga. The only one that I'm missing so far that's released is Dobby, and it just hasn't shown up yet. But what I will tell you, and this is some good news. I was able to pre-order it today, and this is just such a neat one. I mean, come on, take a look. It's also pretty interesting because you can actually see her entire body, and from the front here, you would assume you couldn't, but if you take a look, she's completely back there. I also like how there's the ripped poster on the wall, very fitting for the show, and now I've got to try to figure out exactly how this connects together, but I'm not going to do it today. I'll wait till the rest of them come, and it'll be more fun to do the entire set. Now let's get to do something that I'm not going to be opening up today, but I needed to pick it up because it's not going to be around when I actually need this. It's the brand new DC Advent Calendar. Why do they have this now? Now, I'm not exactly sure. I should really be releasing this around like October or November so that way you could be opening it up during December, but I guess, hey, July works too. And anyways, taking a look on the back here, there is some interesting stuff inside. We can only see four of them, actually five of them so far because we also have, oh no, six. Maybe there might even be more. I don't know. You can see the ones on the front and then on the back, there's a couple more. And if you'll notice, there's the Wonder Woman there that you don't see anywhere else, as well as these four down here. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Batman is also different from from the backside. So I don't know, a pretty fun thing to pick up. And what I'm thinking of doing is the beginning of December, I wanna open up every single advent calendar they released this year at one time. Now, what else do we have going on in here? Oh, let's do this one next because they had this one as one of my pre-orders. I guess I pre-ordered it a while ago, but it is the Moon Plush from Five Nights at Freddy's. A pretty interesting one. And also taking a look here, this is from Security Breach, of course, but I'm wondering if it has anything about the Sun Plush because I know there is one, it just doesn't look like they have anything about it on the tag, but still a really fun one to pick up. You guys might've also noticed that the actual like outfit that he wears is like a bit of a different fabric. It's kind of a little more shiny, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And it's a little bit stiffer too, so you can do stuff like this if you really wanted to. Oh, right, I almost forgot about this one. So I know that the brand new DC movie Blue Beetle is coming soon, so I figured I would pick up this one today. They had the GameStop exclusive kind of hidden in the back. It wasn't one that I pre-ordered, so when I went back there, they had one of them left, so I'm glad that I was able to get it. It's also a little bit different from the other one because he's kneeling down, he's got the kind of like blaster in his hand, as well as the uh, pincers or whatever a blue beetle would have on top. They also did have the other two there. I'm just not exactly sure if I want to collect the entire set or just get blue beetle, because if I'm going to be honest, I really am liking the suit, but I don't know if I'm going to like enjoy the movie so much I need to collect the entire thing? Let me know what you guys are thinking about it. Because Jamie Reyes looks okay. It really is just a people pop. And then Conrad Carapax, Car I believe is how you pronounce it, does look pretty neat. I just don't know much about him. So for now, we're going to be sticking with the GameStop exclusive Blue Beetle, and maybe I'll get more in the future. All right, now what do we have next? Oh, right, I picked up a pop for my brother. This is one that I did pre-order because he wanted me to. It is the Naruto Byrian. Ba Hold on. Barian? The Barian mode? I don't know. He watches Boruto and Naruto. I don't watch it, or at least I haven't watched it yet. And if you guys want to take a look at it, this thing is massive. I also feel like this is a pop he's probably going to take out of the box just because of how cool it is. So let me take it out real quick to show you guys a bit closer. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't know much about this one, but it really does look amazing. It almost looks like he's the Nine Tails Naruto, but like kind of in between. Is that what it is? Because I've seen the other figure and it's kind of like that. Like I remember the lines on it and then he does have a bunch of tails 
like the backside here. That must be it. And if it's not, I'm sure one of you guys is gonna correct me in the comments. Or tell me I'm right, that would be nice too. Oh shoot, you know what? I forgot to talk about this one. This is one that I definitely pre-ordered. It is the Sun figure from Five Nights at Freddy's. I probably should have shown him off when I showed you guys the Moon plush, but it's still cool we get to talk about it now. And it is kind of funny because on the backside here, they actually added them to like the set that you could pick up. And if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why they did them later on. Maybe it's because people wanted them so much. He was a very popular character in the game. So anyways, I am still glad to get him and I will take these out of the box eventually. I just uh, don't know when yet. Because I did get the moon one a little while ago, so it's cool that I have both. And maybe I'll save it for like a big Five Nights at Freddy's unboxing because I have a couple other figures that I haven't taken out yet either. So that could be fun. And now it looks like all we have left down here is the Star Wars stuff that I picked up. So if you like Star Wars, you're probably gonna like these. And the first one that we've got here is the Grand Inquisitor. And I'm loving the lights saber on this. It's actually from the Obi-Wan show, and I know that there's more of them coming out. I just don't have any of them in yet, but I really am hoping to get them soon because we've got Obi-Wan Kenobi, Fifth Brother, Young Luke Skywalker, Ned B, and Purge Trooper. I mean, come on. This set is looking pretty nice. And out of all of them, I feel like you guys know which one I'm going to enjoy the most. It is Ned B, just because of how different he is. I can't wait to see it in person. And also, I gotta say, the way they did the Grand Inquisitor really is well done. And I don't know, there's just something about him in this pose that really looks menacing. Maybe it's the eye it's probably that. Then everybody, we've got this one here, the Darth Maul vs. Ahsoka. And I gotta say, the lightsaber duel they're doing with this really is clean. And I believe I also picked up one of these recently. Was it this? No, there was another one they did, right? Like a duel with the two of them, or maybe it was this exact set again. Did I buy the same one twice? Like, wasn't it like Count Dooku and somebody else? I swear there was another one very similar. And so anyways, I'm just really excited to get this one in the collection. And if I do happen to have it, maybe we'll give it away in the future. Or maybe my brother will want it. I'm not sure. He's a big fan of Star Wars, though. And so anyways, everybody, that is pretty much everything for today's unboxing. And I hope that you guys did enjoy because like I said, hadn't been to GameStop in a while, so it was fun to pick up some new stuff there. Oh, and I also want to mention that I did see all of the turtles while I was there. So don't worry about that. I picked them up at Hot Topic not too long ago, and there will be a video coming out very, very soon, probably this week. So get excited about that because I want to take all of them out of the box and really do a deep dive into every single one of them. And I even have the 10-inch, so I want to compare that one to the normal size Leonardo. But anyways, enough rambling, and I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow.